Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'm going to compare Breakdance's performance on a blank page to Elementor's performance and to Divi's performance on a blank page. Then, I'm going to put some stuff on the page, and you will see that Breakdance stays much smaller than Elementor and Divi. This video is not to say that you can't build fast sites with old school builders. You certainly can. You're just at a disadvantage. Breakdance gives you a much better starting point, and with Breakdance, in most instances, you won't need optimization plugins. Breakdance plus a good host is all you need for lightning fast speeds. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because people really seem to care about this particular thing. However, there are a ton of other advantages of Breakdance when compared to old school builders like Elementor, Divi, Beaver, etc. And I think those advantages are far more important than this one. We have a page and videos going over many of those advantages. The link will be somewhere here, there in the description. You'll find it. And if you really take the time to watch those, you will be amazed at what Breakdance can do and how fast and how easily it can do it. Okay, let's crack into it. And we're not going to compare letter grades or scores or anything else arbitrary or anything that might have to do with the host. We're simply going to compare the actual size in kilobytes of data transferred and code parsed, like the actual mathematical size. Letter grades are great, but as soon as somebody's on slow public Wi-Fi, they have mediocre cell service, or they're just far from the Wi-Fi router, even in their own house, the letter grade doesn't mean so much. What really matters is the amount of data transferred. Okay, so what I've done for this test is I've created a blank page in Elementor with the hello theme and just added a heading to it. Uh, then I did the same in Divi, and then I did the same in Breakdance. And to the extent that these builders provide performance optimization options, I've enabled those. I haven't disabled them or anything like that for this test. And then I ran the pages through GT Metrics. So here is the blank Elementor page. I ran that through GT Metrics, and this is what's loaded. 588.7 kilobyte uncompressed, 160 kilobyte compressed. This is a list of everything loaded on the page. We have a style sheet. This is from WordPress, not Elementor's fault. Another style sheet from the theme. Another style sheet from the theme. Some styles from Elementor. The styles for the post. Icons. Swiper. Not really sure why it loads swiper.css when there's not a swiper on the page. And just a number of other things. jQuery, Webpack Runtime, Waypoints. Just all sorts of things on this page. 587 kilobytes uncompressed. 160 kilobytes compressed. So then I did basically the same thing in Divi. Here is that Divi page. Here's the performance report for the Divi page. They are loading 570 kilobytes uncompressed, 160 kilobytes compressed. A lot of what they're loading is in this monster JavaScript file here that has just a ton of JavaScript that they use. They're also loading jQuery. Okay, let's take a look at the Breakdance page. Here is the GT Metrics report for the Breakdance page. And the Breakdance page is 42 kilobyte uncompressed, 15 kilobyte compressed. So again, Elementor page, 587 kilobyte uncompressed. Breakdance, 40 kilobyte uncompressed. Um, Divi page, 570 kilobyte uncompressed. Breakdance page, 40 kilobyte, 42 kilobyte uncompressed. So Breakdance winning huge by over a factor of 10 there. Okay, but what if you add things to the page? Because it might just be that Elementor and Divi, they load a bunch of stuff, but once you add stuff to the page, it doesn't really get bigger, whereas the Breakdance page then might get bigger, might be the same size as the Elementor and Divi pages if you put some stuff on it. So I did that. So here is a page I built in Elementor. We're using a slider, some icon boxes, and some tabs. And then I did the same thing in Divi, slider, some icons, some tabs, and same thing in Breakdance, slider, some icon boxes, and some tabs. And I didn't put any images on these pages or anything else that would throw it off. It's just what you on the page is what you get. No images or videos or anything like that that could be changing the numbers. Okay, I ran those through the performance testing tool. So here's the Elementor page. I ran that through the performance testing tool here. Here's the waterfall chart. And this page is now one megabyte uncompressed, 428 kilobytes compressed. This is the page. Uh, let's take a look at the Divi page. The Divi page is now 664 kilobytes uncompressed, 224 kilobytes compressed. Let's remember that previously Elementor and Divi were both about 580 kilobytes uncompressed. Now 660 for Divi and 1.1 megabyte for Elementor. And again, this is the page, slider, icon boxes, tabs, slider, icons, tabs. Okay, let's take a look at the Breakdance performance report. Here's the page in Breakdance, same thing, slider, icon boxes, tabs. And in Breakdance, that page is now 247 kilobyte uncompressed, 69 kilobyte compressed. So again, same page, 
Elementor, one megabyte. Divi, 600 kilobytes. Breakdance, 250 kilobytes. And let's take a look at those blank numbers again. 570, 580, and then Breakdance is 42. So, as you can see, Breakdance got bigger, but nowhere near as big as Elementor got and nowhere near as big as Divi got. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and that is the video on performance in terms of what's loaded on your page versus Elementor and versus Divi.